I referred before to the term opportunity capture. Now in innovation, I've said there are essentially three approaches there. One is for products, one is for services, one is for processes. But I always start the innovation journey, if you wish, with the task of finding an opportunity. Now, the first thing we need to do is understand what an opportunity means, what it looks like. And the dictionary defines the word opportunity as something like a fortunate intersection of events. Now, to me, we don't want to have to be fortunate to succeed in business. We need a process. So I've redefined the word opportunity as an observed fortunate set of circumstances. And the secret here is to learn to observe. Often if you ask people what their problems are or what they'd like and so on and so on and so on, they don't really know. The best way to find an opportunity is to observe what people are doing and then you'll see things. Uh, some years ago I was offered a job and I took, which I took, I was offered a job for 12 months of quite a wealthy family said, we'll pay you for a year. We want you to create a technology business. You've got one year. And so I just spent my time wandering around the city of Melbourne and a lot of time overseas searching for opportunities by watching. Within nine months, we had lodged patents for a new technology that we commercialised. In fact, we got quite a bit of money from large organisations. That was a very successful business. All happened simply by the art of observation. Now, design thinking talks about looking at the customer. That's fine, but I've gone a lot deeper than that. I think there are five things you look about the way customers do things, the way people go about things. And these five things are predictable activity. What can I predict someone might do? The next one is widespread activity. What's widespread? There's no point investing your money in a product that may be only appropriate for astronauts. There's half a dozen of them in the world. We need widespreadness. The next one is repetition. If something's repetitious, perhaps we can remove the repetition or take advantage of it. And many companies take advantage of repetition. The next one is trends. What are the trends in the world? And boy, there's so many trends emerging today. You've only got to extrapolate a trend and an opportunity will precipitate as if by magic. And the final one is comparison. The only difference between two humans, by and large, is the software. If someone can do something you can't, then I suggest you have a look at the computer. And I've used that technique to learn how to use tools, to learn how to use a shovel, to learn how to hit a golf ball, to learn to swim and so on. These are the way I go about searching for opportunities and I refer to that as opportunity capture.